Well, this morning we are taking the Coca-Cola porch out into the community to visit our friends at the Oklahoma City Ballet. Oh my gosh, they're getting ready for the upcoming performance of the newest show, Future Voices. Natalie Cruz is live with them in the practice studio. We always love seeing them <laughs> practice. They're so beautiful, wonderful, talented athletes, that's for sure. Natalie? Absolutely, Robin and Lucy, so many talented, beautiful dancers right now. We're surrounded by such beauty. I'm here with Whitney Cross, Development Director of Oklahoma City Ballet, and there is some pretty exciting stuff taking place this week. Why don't you tell us about it? Yes, well, right now our dancers are practicing for Future Voices, which is a really unique showcase. Um, now in its fifth year, um, it's unique because our dancers become the choreographers. We have seven of our professional dancers, and they're given time, studio space, dancers, they choose their own music and costumes and create completely new works that no one's ever seen before. Absolutely, so much talent and this is all, all of the pieces are new and they're choreographed by company dancers. Can you kind of tell us about the pieces that the audience will be seeing this week? Well, I haven't seen them all, but some of the teasers sound incredibly creative and fun. Um, there's going to be a murder mystery. There's going to be voguing. <laughs> there's going to be contemporary dance blended with uh, very classical music. Um, and it all takes place here in our home studio, the Susan E. Brackett Dance Center. Um, it's just a very accessible venue for audiences to come. Uh, $20 tickets, and you are up close with the dancers um, in the studio where they do most of their rehearsals. So it's a pretty unique experience. Absolutely, so many different styles of dance that you mentioned, lyrical, contemporary, I love that. It's so unique for a showcase like this. Um, tell me how the dancers have been preparing. I see that they're hard at work here, making me want to stretch right now, to tell you the <laughs> truth. My joints are starting to hurt, but tell me how they've been preparing for this showcase. Well, some of the choreographers, you know, they think about this all year. Um, we have several choreographers who have done this year after year. Year, but they've had about four weeks um, and they are assigned a certain amount of dancers and then they get to kind of work out the process. Some of them have everything planned out. Some of them really utilize the dancers who were their colleagues also uh, to help create works and kind of play off of their movements and what makes it comfortable for them. Absolutely, and this is going to be a different experience for the audience because I was kind of doing my research and it showed that there's going to be not really a set, there's going to be no backdrops, it's right. all, you're being one-on-one -on -one with the dancers, you truly get to see them work. Yes, it is, it's raw, it's just a true pure dance experience, again there's um, no sets, complicated, co I mean costumes are kind of pulled together from what we have. And it's really just a great experience, family friendly for everyone to um, come out to our facility and experience dance. Absolutely, so All much kinds. talent. So <laughs> yeah. again, when and where can our audience see this and how much are tickets? Yeah, so this weekend we open Thursday night, so March 7th through the 10th. Um, and it takes place here at the Susan e. Brackett Dance Center, home of the Oklahoma City Ballet. Um, tickets are just $20. So uh, again, family friendly, anyone can come out and it's a very accessible show. Um, you can buy tickets at 848-TOES or online at okcballet.org. All right, sounds like something to do this weekend. So yeah. excited, so much talent here at Oklahoma City Ballet. I'm Natalie Cruz for Oklahoma Zone News 9. Natalie, thank you. If you have an organization or event you'd like to see highlighted on the porch, let us know about it. Go to news9.com slash porch. All right, we're talking weather a little cooler.